The first parameter, audio source, refers to the reader used by the layer. So it makes sense that when expanding these parameters, you see the exact same information as if you were to select the reader and look over its parameters in the Properties panel. First, you can modify the audio sample rate. Let's look over the file properties in the Project panel. The frequency is 44.1 kHz, the file format is WAV, and it contains two stereo audio channels sampled at 32-bit float as indicated in the codec name. That's why the reader automatically set the audio bit depth to 32-bit float. But while reading this file, you can change both the audio depth and the sample rate. Give the timeline and audio section a little bit more space. When reading the file, you can set a new sample rate, for example from 44 kHz to 4 kHz. This value will only keep the low frequencies and remove the mid and high frequencies. During playback, you can filter certain frequencies, higher than 1000 Hz for example, keeping only the lower frequencies. Remember that the waveform represents the audio signal in its current state, after playback or adding modifiers. Too much filtering will only keep a small amount of the audio signal. Let's set it back to 44.1 kHz to restore all of the original frequencies. The concept of sampling frequencies and quantization also applies to audio mixes. You can mix audio elements with different frequencies in an audio mix that has a fixed value. You can also set the audio mix bit depth and the number of channels, here mono or stereo. Autograph's audio engine also has its own parameters. To access them, go into Autograph's preferences, located at the top right, then to the audio section. You can start by setting the output device, which is the device you'll use to listen to the audio mix. You can also set the sample rate used by the audio engine, its bit depth, and its mixing mode, mono or stereo. In this video, we went over how to override a reader's original sample rate, adjust audio mix parameters, and adjust Autograph's audio engine settings.